because everyone knows uh, the police of jurisdiction this morning uh, went in and and, uh, and took down the barricades and there were some arrests that were made. Uh, Minister Bennett and I worked throughout the weekend to achieve a, a peaceful resolution to uh, to this, uh, not only in Tananega but across the country. Uh, we worked uh, exceedingly hard to ensure that the proof of the Community Safety Office uh, in, in BC that had been requested by the Wet'suwet and leadership to be taken down had in fact uh, been done and the conditions were met. Uh, this was not to the satisfaction of the hereditary leadership, quite obviously. And so um, those barricade, barricades uh, stayed up. Um, now, it, it doesn't mean the dialogue is closed. Uh, far from that. We remain open for dialogue We're in, and, and even more committed to a peaceful resolution. In any form of protest, you have to ensure that those, 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 that dialogue is open. We're, we're, we're not only fighting uh, days of, of suspicion and mistrust, but decades and, and even centuries in some cases. And so, obviously, as, as Minister Bennett and I took pains to demonstrate that the Community Safety Office, which, let's remember, was as the specific request of the Wet'su and hereditary leadership come down, uh, that uh, wasn't to the satisfaction, obviously, and, and, and the action was taken by the Ontario Provincial Police um, took place this morning. It doesn't mean now that uh, we are working even harder to ensure that the lines of one lines of communication are open and that we remain committed to a peaceful resolution. This community industry safety office was something that they wanted decommissioned. Uh, we uh, that happened, began to happen on Friday as the documents and the equipment were moved out of that office, and then. And there was a conversation between the hereditary chiefs and the the BC RCMP to be able to 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 produce a deconstruction schedule that we hope will be available today. So that was very important um, to the hereditary chiefs. We needed them to communicate um, that that was uh, to their satisfaction, uh, to their supporters, uh, coast to coast to coast. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't happen, but that safety office is closed, and we look forward to hearing more about the details so that we, we can continue the dialogue. So obviously today is a devastating day for the uh, people of Western Canada and the hundreds of thousands of people who have lost their jobs in the energy sector uh, under this Liberal government. Uh, the Tech Frontier mine would have created uh, 7,000 construction jobs, 2,500 jobs ongoing, and would have brought hope and prosperity to uh, all Albertans, including the 14 Indigenous Canadians, uh, Indigenous communities who signed on to it. Uh, make no mistake, this cancellation is a direct result of Justin Trudeau's weak leadership when it comes to the radical activists who are trying to shut down our energy sector. The fact that he has done literally nothing for 19 days while illegal blockades have brought our economy to its knees uh, sends a very strong signal to proponents in the energy sector that this government will not uphold the rule of law and that they will be on their own.